Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How you doing today? Welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. I am just working on day number 11 for or in my December daily here. The next page here you can see is kind of a plain white page, but it's that computer paper with the, uh, you know, where it used to, uh, you know, attach to the printer uh, and, you know, scroll through and it was attached to pages and you had to, you know, perforate it. It was perforated and you had to pull it off. But anyway, <laughs> uh, if you know what I mean, that's what this is. It's decorated on this side with Christmas, but this side is the blank side. So that's what I'm working with today. But I did have a lot happen today. We had our office Christmas party and I received a gift today. I found a couple things. Oh, I found something I want to show you. And I uh, also ordered something special. Well, I guess I ordered it for myself. It might be from my husband, but it's a Christmas present for myself. So uh, it's something I've been wanting for a few years, like at least three years I've been looking at um, Instax cameras, but I never uh, really... I've almost bought one a couple times, but um, I never did because I just didn't like the, a couple things about it. One thing I didn't like is the price of the, I guess it's, I don't know if it's considered film or what it's considered that you put in to uh, print out your pictures, photo paper, photo paper, whatever it is. So um, I never, you know, bit the bullet and bought one, but... <laughs> Uh, last week, I finally decided I would buy a sprocket. It's a HP Sprocket 200, and that's what I bought. So let me show you what I printed out. <laughs> it I couldn't, like, I was very impatient. I didn't wait for it to even charge up. So this is a picture of my family. And so it didn't print out all the way because it wasn't charged up enough to print it out all the way. But here, this is the size pictures it prints out. Okay. And let me show you the other ones, since that's just, you know, people. Uh, this is my one of my dogs um, that my son, he lives with my son now, but uh, this is a little miniature um, Alaskan Spitz, and he's got a Santa Claus outfit on. And this was from a couple years ago, but I was just, you know, kind of seeing if how this thing worked. And uh, this is, I mean, this is how small they are, if you can see in my hand. And that's what I've been wanting for a couple years so I could have these pictures for my journal. What I've been doing is just getting wallet sizes at Walmart or printing on paper uh, whenever I want a picture. But these are so cute. I love them. And so I'm going to, um, you know, be using that to print out pictures for my journal now because um, I was just itching to be able to uh, you know take a picture and immediately print it out and put it in my journal I didn't want to order from Walmart or you know and I wanted to have a nice quality this is photo paper that this little thing uses I don't have it here I guess I should have brought it in here but I got the pink one it's a little pink um, HP sprocket 200 and I'll put a link below this video I just ordered it on Amazon I ordered an extra film this some film did, or not film, but photo paper did come with it. So those three I printed out. I didn't mean to print out two of these, but I did by accident. And then this I printed out. It's come something special. <laughs> and um, today on Facebook, and this is an example kind of of what I wanted to do with it. I wanted to be able to see something. Oh, I want to put that in my journal. Or I want to do this or that with that picture. And immediately be able to have a nice little small copy of it you know I mean this could fit in any journal so on Facebook today I saw Maria my friend Maria posted where she uh, I think she said she came in second for a little uh, kind of Christmas decorating uh, thing contest they had in at her work and you were supposed to decorate a door your door to your office but she didn't have a door so she decorated her her desk and I thought it was such a neat picture so I wanted to see if I could print it out, so I did. This is it. This is her. When she sees this, she's... <laughs> I don't know what she's going to do, but... It was a neat little... Uh, it was a big picture, like a big kind of a mural. Uh, you know, kind of looked like a mural that she 
did. And you can kind of see the paper. She um, really did a good job on this. And I can see why she came in. She should have came in first, but <laughs> um, look how cute it is printed on this little picture. So I'm going to use this in my journal, I think. Uh, you know, I, I kind of want to do that since I saw the picture today. I thought, why not use this for today? And then I printed out these little pictures to use. If they fit in today, I'll put them in today. But if they don't, I'll put them in maybe another day. And I found this today when I was... Uh, Looking at my Old World Santa, these are Old World Santa collectible cards. I found this one with the 25 on it. I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, that's so cool. Uh, I'm going to save that for my 25th day for my Dece December daily. So I've got that. Two other things I wanted to show you before I get started on the page is, um, this is the card that I was working with last night that I received from Harmony. And I did go ahead and finish uh, doing something with the card. I cut it up. This was the inside of the card right here. Wishing you all the best of the season. This little reindeer was in there. And so I, I had cut it out. I rounded the corners. I backed it with just, since it was already cardstock, I didn't need really any more cardstock. So I backed it with coffee dyed paper. Kind of did some messy stitching around. And attached this little piece of fabric with... Um, a tiny attacher and did some distressing on the front and the back. Well, I guess I didn't do any in the back. It was already coffee dyed paper and I can't see that I did any more, but I did do it on the front here. So, and then this is the other piece. This was um, on the outside, you know, front of the card. I did the same thing. Oh no, I put a piece of file folder. These are the file folders that my husband got me. I talked about in one of my videos. And they're printed, but they don't use them anymore at his work. So he brought me home some. So I thought, you know, I just thought those were, I don't know, I just like them. They have lines and little boxes and things and you can write on there. So I just think they're really interesting. So I put a piece of that on the back of this, this piece of card. And messy stitched around, distressed, and I put a little piece of, like, tatting up here. So... Really came out cute, I think, both of those. So really neat. So those are going to be, I don't know, I might not use those for my own personal journal. I might save those for my um, my Christmas Jingle Bells journal that I'm working on. And then, let's see, what else? I guess I can get started decorating. So blank slate here. I received this card today with a gift uh, that I received today. So I thought I'd cut this up and use this maybe for a pocket but to begin with uh, the envelope that it came in I was almost going to throw it out and then I saw this red foil in here I thought well maybe I'll try to do something with that so let's see because I knew I had a blank white sheet to work with today so I thought well maybe this would add I mean this would add a lot of uh, uh, you know bling to the page <laughs> so let me just well actually let me uh I've got my paper cutter right here, and it'll be a little faster if I use that. So, and I don't have a plan. I just am, you know, I have things that happened today that I'm going to basically put into my December daily and see how it turns out. That's pretty much what I've been doing every day, unless I have something that I want to, you know, in mind that I want to experiment with. So, let's see what happens. <laughs> and sorry about any glare from this. Like It's like a foil piece here in this envelope, but it is a little... Uh, it is, does pick up the light quite a bit. But, uh, you know, on a journal page, that could be a good thing, right? <laughs> Especially since this is for Christmas and for December. So I'm just cutting all the white off here. And this is cutting just fine. It's like paper. I don't know if it's actually foil, but uh, it is something a little glossy feeling. So where might I want this? What I want to, at the bottom? I kind of don't want to cover up the holes because I've never had this paper before. And I think that, you know, that's really cool that I found this paper. Maybe uh, I'll put it on the side here as a starting point to add some color to this paper. 
So what shall I, it's like paper, it's just envelope paper on the back, so I could use glue stick here. And where's my glue pad? Let me see, what did I do with it? I just had it, I had it here the other night and it was kind of uh, getting in, oh here it is, I put it over here. I gotta reach across my desk. Yeah, I put it over here out of the way because it was, I had it right here beside me and it was kind of just getting in the way. So I have planned, this is some other things I have planned for this page. But first I want to get my base, my base down here to see what, you know, where I'm going. <laughs> get an idea of where I'm going with this page. So I'm just gluing over here. Probably can't see the whole thing, but I'm just putting glue all over the back of this this paper, especially on the edges, and you can probably see a little bit here, but I hope everyone had a great day. Like I said, I had my Christmas office Christmas party today. It was a little early, but it was at a restaurant, and uh, I couldn't believe really how many other party people were there. It was, this place was packed, and it was like... I mean, I thought we would be, I didn't think it would be that crowded because it's kind of early in December. It's not even, you no know, halfway through December yet and all these people were there and they were clearly, a lot of them were clearly there for Christmas get-togethers. They had, they were dressed up for Christmas, you know, Christmassy. They were carrying Christmas presents. So clearly everyone's uh, starting early with their Christmas parties, but uh, it was pretty cool that um, to see everyone, see other people dressed up and things. So next I think I'm gonna work with the cards. I'm gonna cut this up and see what we can do with this. I kind of think, I'm kind of thinking journaling cards and maybe a pocket. This is pretty thick, so we'll see how it goes. But um, let me first just cut, cut the back, separate the back from the front here. Do that, and sorry if I'm moving you when I'm I'm pressing down really hard on my table and it makes it shake a little bit. Uh, but okay, so this is the inside. I'm thinking I might want to cut the words out and cut the names off here. My name's on there, and the year. I don't need that. And then uh, more names down here. Let's cut those off. So, uh, cut the sides off. Definitely can. I've been trying to use the words inside too, and they have come out really cute, like the one I just showed you from Harmony. Let me get all this trash out of here. <laughs> That's bugging me. This is trash. Okay. So I've got my corner rounder here and I've got this front piece. Let me go ahead and round these corners in case I want to use this. That's ready to go. Cute, right? I could put a little sticker or something on there, maybe. And I think I want to cut this Merry Christmas off the bottom and just maybe use that separately. This is a very glittery, like this front, this is totally covered with glitter. Really pretty, pretty card. And the two red cardinals there. So here's the Merry Christmas. That's neat. Another piece I can use. So these red birds uh, are so pretty. I'm thinking I'll cut it in half. And then, I'm trying to think of how how best to use all of it, you know what I mean? So, let's, how can I cut off this and still have something pretty on the bottom? Maybe like that, that will work. And the same thing with this. Got the little bird right at the top there, and then this is all pretty glittery snowy trees and we will round all of those corners so 
So these will be little journaling cards or something pretty. I love the cardinals. Pretty. <laughs> I love the rounded corners it adds I mean just so cool right okay so we've got those four things ready to go we've got our base kind of started here um, I cut out the little word here from my bo the box on my sprocket so I could put that in there because I got it today I have uh, let's see let's see I have a few things to use for my number 11 for today. I've got, I cut this piece out from a calendar. <laughs> it was kind of like, what am I going to use? Maybe a calendar. Let me get rid of the eight there. I've got a calendar. I've got these from the game pieces. They're the eyes, but I can put them together and make them ones. And that could be an 11. And I cut out the word, I cut, I took out the page from a dictionary, a children's dictionary with the number 11 right there. I thought I might use that, so let me go ahead and cut that out. I might just have 11 all over here and use all of these if, I, if they'll fit. I was just, I was, uh, I've looked through my flashcards and I don't, I mean, it's like they're all bigger than I want for the number, you know what I mean? They're kind of just, I don't have any little tiny num flashcards with numbers on them or the number 11 anyway so okay so I got that from the dictionary number 11 <laughs> noun plural <laughs> anyway uh, then I have the rest of this dictionary page which I can use front or back whichever one I like I like this little farm picture here what is that picture of an embankment there's the word embankment right there. But let me cut this straight over here because I, that's where I ripped it out of the book. <laughs> and then let me cut. I'm trying to think maybe I can use this as some of my base here to uh, cover this white page. That would be neat and could be really pretty in the end. I like, you know, dictionary font and things like that. The way this is in a column. So, let me, there we go. Now this side is off. I like that farm though. I don't know, I might end up covering it up, but if I could keep it without covering it up, I could put this right here next to the red just as something to cover the page like I said I don't know I didn't have a plan I kind of like that not having a plan and just see what happens you know what I mean I think that's how this 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 journal is gonna go <laughs> I mean that's I don't know if you have time to plan fine I mean I did plan a little bit I looked for the 11s I cut out the word sprocket. <laughs> I printed out those pictures, so I did some a little bit of planning. So I'm keeping everything that I glue in this away, not too close to my, because these pages aren't sewn in yet, I'm leaving room to making sure I don't get right up next to that so I don't, I mean this wouldn't matter if I got the stitch through it, but you know, I'd rather just be on the safe side. So I think that looks good. Something different that I haven't done in here yet is glue down a piece of book page. I don't think. So what else do I want to do? I said I wanted to use Murray's picture. Put that right up there. Oh, I have this I cut out from the gift I got today. These two, I did make this journaling card from the the gift I got today was uh, at my office Christmas party, and 
It was in a box. It had this ribbon wrapped around it. <laughs> so I put the whole thing on here. And this word was on the box. So I cut this word out and this was on the box. Really cute, I thought. Perfect for me, right? A junk journaler, paper lover. And it was, I just love the craft cardstock. So I thought I got out. Let me show you. I have these pens that I also, I showed the other pens, uh, glitter pens I've been using that I got at Dollar Tree last year. And I also got these last year, I believe at Dollar Tree. It's a green and gold and they're called glitter markers, okay? So I have used them before and they do, these work really good too, I believe if I remember right. I haven't used them this year yet. So we're gonna see if they still work. <laughs> Give them the test, but I thought um, I like the contrast of glitter and like rustic. So this, I you know, to me like craft car socks, kind of rustic. So I thought I might try writing over this and maybe decorating around with a little doodle or squiggly line uh, with this glitter pen and see how. Now, I haven't tested it. Let me find a piece of scrap paper that I can test it on. Get this right here. I just threw away a bunch of stuff, so let me grab something out of the trash. <laughs> this piece of envelope here that we just cut up. Let me write on here and see if it still works. Yeah, it's uh, it's thick. It's not like a pen, you know. It's a marker. So let's write. Um, hello. Let's see how long, okay. If I hold it straight up, it writes a little bit thinner. That That's pretty too, okay. Let's try it on here now. I wanna, I'm hoping to be able to see the white through the glitter, so that's my plan with this. So let's see how it looks. Yeah, I think it's looking good, I like it. Might have to go over it twice, we'll see. Enjoy. Okay. Here's one coat. Does it look glittery? I think it kind of does. Let's put another coat on there. It does in person you can see it more. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but Let's go over one more time. Let me see if it's wet or dry. I wrote the E first. Yeah, it's it's coming off a little bit. <laughs> but let's go over it one more time. And oh yeah, that's much darker when you go over it again. Huh. Very cool. I will kind of love it. I pretty much love it. <laughs> Glad I thought of it. Okay, that looks neat. I really like it. Now that looks good with two coats. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Okay, so let's do a little squiggly. I'm not an artist, but I would like something around the edges. So I'm going to do just little loops or something. Let's try that. I might ruin it, but it's for my journal, so... <laughs> I can do whatever I want. Squiggly's on the side. It's right over here. Cool. So I think the squigglies need a leather coat too because the uh, enjoy is so much darker than the squigglies and you can't really see the squigglies very much. So one more time around with the squigglies. And they might not look like squigglies when I'm done but this little card will have a nice little glittery border. And that's what I'm after. Some kind of decoration here. Wow, that looks good though. It's really coming out now. Uh, the gold really coming out of the 
pin. Okay, I like that. Pretty cool. I like it. Okay, I don't know where it'll go, but it's done. <laughs> so, should we put any um, glitter on this one? Or should I save it for writing, maybe? I think I'll save it for writing at the moment, and then if I don't write on it, maybe I'll put some glitter on it. Some gold glitter. I like that gold on the craft. Okay, so let's get things down that I know I want to on here. This, I don't think, like I said, this is my first time. I, I want to make sure this is not a sticker or something. <laughs> I don't think it is, but I wonder if it is. Is it? Oh, my word. I didn't, I ha totally didn't know that, but that paper just looked like paper that you um, pull off of a sticker and these are stickers isn't that convenient <laughs> that's awesome wow I can't even believe that I don't know I did not I swear I did not know that <laughs> I had I really didn't but that is so cool that's even better I don't have to use glue right yeah these are very expensive the little um, photo papers that's one another reason I got it because I was like, wow, only I think it was uh, you get a little box of twenty for four ninety nine. That's not too bad, right? Compared to other like the Instax and stuff. So uh, okay, cool. That is so cool. All right, I can't even believe that just happened. All right, what else? We want our numbers, so I'm kind of burying them here with all my stuff. Where did it go? Here's my little definition number. And more book page. Here's these. Here's this. Okay, let's put this up here. So I need some glue on there. <laughs> I can't believe that's a sticker. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't know it was a sticker. I kind of ordered it last week and I read about it, read all the reviews. I guess I was concentrating more on the price and the reviews. And, you know, it looked like what I wanted. And I figured, you know, on Amazon, yeah, you can always send it, usually, almost always send it back with no issues for, you know, free or whatever. So, okay, there's our one of our numbers. I think I'll write the date on here, too. Uh, you know, I've been writing the day and the date. So today is, um, what is today? Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday. So let's write Wednesday on here. With my red gel glitter pen. Wednesday, December 11. And since I don't have a lot of room here, I'm going to do the 12, 11, 19. Okay, now our other, let's see, this I might put over here because it doesn't show up very well over there, so I'm going to put it over here, I think. Or maybe I'll put it down here. I don't know. Let me put the, let me put these on first. I don't want them next to each other. I want them down here. Oh, I want them up here. I think I want them right there. Okay, in this outfit. I don't know. I might want a pocket down here somewhere. So then let me just put them on here and then I'll decide in a second. Just so I can see. Because I would like to put this tag somewhere. I could make this into a corner tuck. And then put my tag in there. Or I could use the card, a piece from the card. So I would like a piece of that on here. Let's see which piece is best. Uh, let me use this one. And that could be a corner tuck, I believe. I think I could still do that little number. I want it on this side. I think I want it on this side. Okay. 
This is just card, regular card on the back, but this is kind of, I've never glued on anything like that. I might need to use my Fabri-Tac just to make sure it's gonna stick. So, side and bottom, this side and bottom. Okay, Got a little piece across there. I don't want my pocket to be glued down in the middle. Okay, right here. So we got glue here and here. Okay. Okay, so I can write on here and then stick it right here. I'm gonna put it on the outside right now because this is drawing and I don't wanna pull it up. And then this, I said I would put maybe there. My number 11 definition. That would kinda of look neat up there. I think I might put it up there. I think I might do that. Eleven there, eleven there, and eleven here. I can't put it like that because <laughs> then it doesn't look like eleven. I don't want it to be close, too close to this ten since it's the same thing. Game pieces, okay. So I, I mean, I don't even have to use that. I'm just going to leave it unglued for the moment because I have these other pictures I can use that, you know, from my sprocket, since I got my sprocket today, I don't want to use two of my little doggies. Maybe I'll give the other one to my son, the extra one. I can cut this piece of extra picture off here because that's the part that where my battery wasn't charged yet. <laughs> okay, so if I kind of want to cut that off because it's, bu it's bugging me. It's actually bugging me. And then I can... I wonder if I should pull off the sticker part first. I just want to make sure I can get the sticker off. And like after I cut it, it makes it harder to get the sticker off or something. So yeah, I got the stick the, the backing off the sticker. So cool. <laughs> okay. So and then I'll have the bigger one of so it's even smaller than it started out. Isn't that adorable? So I've got a picture there. Let me put this one over here. I don't want to cover up Maria's picture. I'll put that one right there. Okay, and this is my little doggy. Now my now living at my son's house. I think I might cut this one off too. Take the backing off again. I guess I gotta get the hang of taking this back. Oh, here it comes. Get the hang of taking this backing off. But I don't need uh, all of this extra right here. No reason to have that on there. Of course, if I would have cut it straight, it would have been nice. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's better. Let's see. I got sticker paper on me. Okay. Now I can make him even smaller actually. I mean this is all like he's out on the deck. So I can cut all of this deck off. I don't really need all of that extra decking there. 
So let's make him even smaller. And this right here is just extra. It's not doggy. It's decking. So there we go. <laughs> Adorable. Where shall we put him? On the red? Or right next to us? Or down here? Let's see if I put this here. I'll be putting that in there. That's going to cover up the that part so maybe I should put him down here I think I'll put him down here because there's just words here and I kind of wanted to keep that picture if I could so yes we're gonna go right there that's Keo his name is Keo K-I-O that's what my son named him Keo okay so I don't have room for this as far as on the page. I love this, so I might have to use it another day. Or I don't want to cover up anything either. Like that's <laughs> people. I don't want to cover up my people. Don't want to cover up my doggy. I think I'm going to have to not put this on this page. It's just going to be too big. Okay. Is there anything else I want to put on this page? I'm going to write. I'm going to be able to write on here. Uh, let me see this Merry Christmas. Will this fit anywhere? I don't want to cover up anything. Oh, I could put it... I could almost put it right there. That would be cool. Let's cut off the ends here. Since this is from the card I got today, it'll fit right there. That is neat. So, uh, I'm using, since I'm gluing on this foil, I'm using the art, the, uh, Fabri-Tac. Just a thin little layer here on the outskirts. <laughs> okay, that's a nice little added touch there. I like it. hard to rub on glitter so I <laughs> I don't want to rub on this I'm just kind of doing that instead of rubbing on it because it's all glittery okay so we said this is going here also I could put something here though I still could put that number 11 there like it could go right here And then I would still have my picture that I wanted to keep. And let me just make sure there was nothing else I wanted to put there instead of that. I think I, I showed you everything. And uh, that was pretty much it, really, that I had in mind. Oh, my sprocket. I didn't put my sprocket down. i got to put that down since I got it today. So when I look back on this, I'll say, like, wow. I used that so many times since December of 11th when I got it last year. Hopefully that's what I'll be saying. Because <laughs> I've been wanting to do this. I mean, I, like I said, I printed out, I had pictures printed out at Walmart in wallet size to try to have little pictures, but it does take time to order those. And I want, you know, I want them now. <laughs> so... Okay, let's put down that number 11. I think that's going to look good there. Cover up some of that glare, right? I think that'll look cute and it'll look like a nice... I'm liking the full pages, you know what I mean? I'm liking the full covered pages. It really... It seems like the more you put on them, the cooler they look and prettier. I think... Uh, uh, let's see... I'm going to flip back real quick and see if there's anything I didn't show you, but I think I did show you everything that I added uh, before. Like yesterday, I think I showed you everything I added to the other pa you know, previous pages. Okay, so that's another 11.
Okay, cool. Cute, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, you saw everything on this page. I did write on the back. Oh, I put a little... I wrote about uh, Harmony here. Kind words. <laughs> you know, just how I met her and stuff. And then I put one of the little stickers from her stickers that she sent me right here in the date. So, and that's in that pocket. I think that's the only thing you haven't seen. Everything you, else you saw that I added on these pages. Uh, the snowman. Where's the snowman? You saw this. The snowman. You saw him. Yep, I think you saw everything. So, that's it. You know what? I might tie this in a bow. I wonder if that would be... I like it hanging out like it could hang out of my journal. Like this. Or I'd still, if I tie a bow, it would still have plenty of room to, t to uh, hang out. So, let me tie a bow. <laughs> and then I'll write on the back of that of this for today. And if I don't, if I feel like I ran, run out of room, because this is small, not very much room to write, I may have to add something else, like one of those pieces from the card. I could also write on that and stick it in the pocket, probably. So there's a bow. I don't know. It might it's a little big. <laughs> Let's make it smaller. Just try to use up some of this ribbon, right? There we go. That looks cute. So that'll go in there. Have my story. And then if I need more room, you know what? I might just write on the back of this and de do something to decorate it more uh, and then put that in there too. And that would be cute, just like that. Okay, we're done. Another day done. And we're caught up. So I will see you all tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Happy crafting.